Hey, this is Dan Verton, Cyber and National Security Reporter for FedScoop. I'm out here in Lorton, Virginia with DHS's Science and Technology Directorate and the Fairfax County Search and Rescue Team. We're here to take a look at a new technology that DHS has helped develop called the Finder. The Finder helps find victims in large rubble piles like the one behind me. Let's go take a look. The Finder is a microwave radar. It detects the heartbeats of victims buried in earthquake rubble. It works by sending a illuminating the entire pile with a low-power microwave signal, about one one-thousandth of what your cell phone uses, and it looks for the reflections coming back. The reflections from the rubble don't move, but the reflections from the victim do, because your heart is beating and you're breathing. Then we sort through all the signals and look for heartbeats. And the unique thing about human heartbeats is, is that they change on every heartbeat as you breathe, and so we can use that to separate humans from animals and from mechanical devices, which don't necessarily have that characteristic. Data came up here, got one person hit right here. Let's make a mark here for this location. All right, Sam, about five more seconds of data will be out. Okay. Okay, all right, look at that. Heart rate's showing 71, and we've got a respiration rate of 16 on this hit. I'd say pretty good on that, so mark that out the way as a positive hit. Yeah. And how far can it see? Well, Finder, we've tested it in rubble piles like this one here at Lorton, uh, detected people at 35 feet from deep in the rubble. We've tried it through 20 feet of solid concrete. It works at least at 100 feet in the forest. Mostly that's because of where we've tested, not what it's potentially capable of. I got a chance to see the finder up close and watch it in action, including an opportunity to climb up and into the rubble pile that the Fairfax County Search and Rescue Team uses for training. The way finder works is pretty simple. Each finder contains three low-power microwave radars that blanket a disaster area and pick up those minute changes in frequency that would indicate a person's heartbeat or their breathing. But it's even more capable than that. Finder can distinguish between multiple victims, a human heart and an animal heart, like a rat, as well as between a human heart and something mechanical, like the arm of a grandfather clock that's still swinging back and forth. The key thing about Finder is its ability to locate victims quickly. First responders refer to that first hour after a disaster as the golden hour. It's the best chance of survival. With Finder, vital signs about survivors show up on a ruggedized computer or tablet within a minute, allowing each search and rescue worker to focus their attention on locations where they know there are living victims. The current prototype we have right now does a general detect of the area and determines whether there is a live human heartbeat in that area. Uh, what we're doing now is to improve it to go ahead and actually allow it to locate with a range, a distance, and a bearing to the heartbeat to allow rescuers to find the person quicker than they would just knowing that there's somebody out there. So that was the Finder. Pretty amazing technology, certainly going to help save lives in the future. For FedScoop TV, I'm Dan Verton. Thanks for watching.